In the name of God, the compassionate, the merciful. Well, uh, we are working with the um, war, um, with the book Pragmatics and Discourse, uh, written by John John Carting. Okay, uh, we already finished uh, pages up to seven. Now we are going to continue from this page, okay? So we are going to continue with the, with the one uh, as a referring to context, okay? Which is the third example of uh, what we already had. So um, page four, we have situational context on the top. It was the topic there. On page five, we had the background knowledge context. Okay, it was number two. And referring to context, it is number three. We want to talk about a reference. Okay, well, uh, first of all, if you have got questions, uh, please uh, make up a new group with me. Uh, one student actually um, um, came to my PV, came to my PM and asked, uh, to make uh, a WhatsApp group. I actually uh, asked him to go, him or her, I don't know, uh, to go and ask uh, Dr. Mogadda in order to make a WhatsApp group. So what? Whenever you have got a question, <clears throat> you can simply uh, ask your questions, whatever there is there in the a WhatsApp group. Uh, I am still wondering why this group was not made because I actually talked to talked to uh, Dr. Mogadassinia and Dr. Mogadassinia said that he is going that doctor is going to in fact uh, help we, you with uh, the um, in fact uh, establishing making the WhatsApp group. This is one thing that I wanted to share with you. Number two is that if you still don't have the book, if you still don't have the book, so I will act actually put the book in uh, in fact uh, in the uh, Golestan uh, in fact uh, site for you. Okay, if you if you move uh, Golestan, okay, if you move Golestan, uh, that. Uh, uh, for those of you who are, who are from Afghanistan, actually, that Samaniy Gulistan. Okay, so back to English. Now, uh, uh, I, actually, one student from Afghanistan, I came to my PV and I actually gave you, with the help of uh, uh, the students, my older students, actually, I gave him uh, the book. Well, well, back to page seven. Well, page seven talks about referring to context. Now, uh, we want to talk about the context and see what is inside the context. Okay. The first thing is that we have to talk about the reference, which is already part of your grammar and again part of your in fact, discourse analysis. Now, line one says, the act of using language to, you, to refer to entities in the context is known as reference. So you use a piece of language, one word, in order to talk about, uh, well, uh, uh, the language itself, okay? So, this is a reference. Uh, line one continues at the end of it. Actually, line two says the act in which a speaker uses linguistic forms to enable the hearer to identify something. So you enable your hearer to understand something that is which is called reference. Okay, now. Line three actually says the speaker uses linguistic forms known as referring expressions. Referring expressions. What is referring expression? Well, a referring expression is simply uh, a word 
or something which refers to something. Well, line 3 continues to say to enable hearer to identify the entity being referred to, okay? Now, which is in turn known as referent. So the full form is referring expression and the shorter form, which is very obvious for you, very clear for you, and you have used for years, it is called reference. Okay? Now, there is one example. Again, from Aaron's example. You remember Aaron's example appeared on page... Uh, yes, three. Okay? So this is part of example from that page. When we say I went with Francesca and five point uh, five seconds of, of silence and after uh, after that you said and David. So it's like this. I went with Francesca and David. You read it like this. Why? Because we have to wait for five sec point five seconds. The first person singular pronoun I is a referring expression or a referent which refers to the person speaking. If I say I, I refers to me. If you use I, you use I, it refers to you. If somebody else uses I, it refers to that person as well. Okay. Okay, who is the referent? Now, similarly, I suppose it's line six, one, two, three, four, five, six, or seven. Similarly, the person, the pro proper noun Francesca and David are the referring expressions similar to I. A pronoun is a referring expression, similarly, Nouns like Francesca and David are again referring ex expressions, okay? So that, uh, the latter being the reference, okay? Now, so we want to say there are two types of reference, references, uh, okay? Two types of referring expressions. One is the pronouns like I, like you, like he, like she, like it, like they. And you know, type two is the nouns like John, Mary, Francesca, David, um, Hassan, uh, Mahdi, uh, whatever there is there, Hassam, etc. Or Zainab. Well, back to, let's go to paragraph two. When this is the first mention of the referent in the text, we are talking about the discourse analysis in the first, in the text, we have the first mention. Well, when there is the first mention of the referent in the sense that is no previous mention of that referent in the preceding context or text, we call it, it is exophoric okay for the first time when there is something like a pronoun like a noun used in a sen in a pal in a text in a context in a text we call this as exophoric because it, it refers outside x here means out exophoric means referring outside so, we call it exophoric reference, okay? Exophora is dependent on the context outside. Depending on the context outside, okay? So, exophoric reference refers to something out, somebody outside the text, okay? Around us, around us, in the environment somewhere around us, okay? So, well, thus in this paragraph, thus in this paragraph, between DM and AF, AF, okay? In this, it is not, of course, a paragraph. It is a text. Of course, it is a kind of text which is called a dialogue, okay? Between two guys, a DM and AF. 
again part of that in fact dialogue that we had between uh, about Ara okay Dem says I went with Francesca and David AF says uh says uh huh uh huh uh huh which which means well what are you talking about okay Dem continues to say Francesca's roommate and stops for two seconds and continues to say, and Alice is a friend of Alice from London, and one second of silence. There were six of us. Yeah, yeah, we did a lot of hill walking. Okay, it's like this. Well, you see us and we on the last line. Okay. Again, these are reference. Okay? But these are not referring outside the text. They are referring to some 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 part inside this three, four lines. Okay? So the line below says the line below the paragraph says the us and we are not exophoric. Not exophoric. Exophoric means out. X means out. Exophoric means referring to something outside. Okay? Because they refer back to DM, Francesca, and David. So when they, when they say us, they mean these three guys. These three guys and girls, if there are these guys and girls. Francesca's roommate the friends of Alice's and my Michelle, who are all mentioned elsewhere in the text. So, we are going to introduce another type of referent, another type of reference, in the form of us and we, us and we, and similar items. We call these items as we're going to talk about it on the next page. Endophoric reference, not exophoric. And endophoric means inside. Endo means inside. When they want to see inside your body, they use a kind of instrument called endoscope. Endoscope. And actually, they do like something like this in order to see inside your belly. Okay, inside your stomach. So endo means inside. Exo means out, outside. Okay, now I'm going to continue with line three below the paragraph. Below the paragraph, uh, below the conversation. The nouns Francesca and David are used as uh, are used um, as exophoric because they point to people who are in, in the cultural uh, context and are referred to the previous dimension. Okay, so we have up to here. Exophoric and endophoric. We are going to talk about endophoric later on. Next, we want to talk about another thing called dioxys. The last paragraph of page 7. Dioxys. What is dioxys? Dioxys. And let us see. Dioxys is something like this. Look at my finger. Pointing to somebody. Pointing to some time pointing to somewhere okay some place i mean pointing words are said to be dialectic expressions uh, dialectic expressions and we are going to talk about pointing words in our language which is part of the discourse analysis let us see the next paragraph says in this unit we said that uh, uh, what time is it? This is for about 14 minutes, uh, more than for 14 minutes, this is the 15th minute, uh, okay? I'm going to finish it sooner. Uh, in this unit, we have said that some words actually point to the entities that they refer to, okay? Okay. In the referring expression, point uh, points to the referent in the, in the context uh, where interlocutors can see it or not. I'm repeating it once more because I read it badly. In the referring expression, points to the referent in the context 
is known as dioxys. Okay, there are two types of dioxys, three types, three types of dioxys. I, I suppose uh, there are three types. Uh, I thought that this book actually talks about uh, the three of them. You already know about the dioxys in your actually course with, with me, so I'm not going to, in fact, go to talk, talk about everything else. So pointing words are dioxic, dioxic expressions, as we already talked about uh, in our uh, previous course with me. But there are, I suppose, uh, uh, some other students who don't know. So let us see what, are, what, is, what it means to say dioxys. Okay? So, two lines to the bottom of the page 7 before the new paragraph begins we we say something like this we when we talk of a person diaxis we mean the use of expressions to point to a person okay with the per personal pronouns like i like you like he like she and it okay and we and they these are in fact person diaxis because it, they refer point to point to people so if you say she she it means a person a feminine person a woman a girl okay which you are actually point to okay or when you say he actually you use the same thing for a man for a boy like this okay so again back to the previous kind of conversation we say we are not amused in the queen's actually conversation okay with the courtiers we say uh, the queen actually remember you remember say we are not amused we are not amused we is a uh, person dies line two so you you went to Ireland you went to Adam again you point to somebody and say you again it is a referring referring expression so there are three other examples that you want to continue on page seven page eight talk, page eight talks about place diocese you already know about place diocese i i'm going to actually have it short is the words used to point to a location used to refer to a location, a place, okay? The place where an entity is in the text, as in the demonstrative adverbs, there, place taxes. Here, here, place taxes. Okay? The demonstrative act, uh, adjectives, and pronouns sometimes they are adjectives sometimes they are pronouns according to in fact the context they are being used well the first one is this the other is that the next one is these and those okay these are again again examples of uh, dioxys so there are uh, a couple of instances below which actually tell about uh, place dioxys. So they were like this. You, you, you remember she talked about her swollen knees and they were like showing like this, showing uh, in fact something like this, uh, which meant that her knees were, were swollen. She actually pointed to her knees. Okay, or that was great when you say when somebody says something and you say that was great. Okay, uh, it is uh, again another uh, thing. But uh, so this is place dices and person dices, and I suppose I can't find the third person dices, place dices, time dices. And that uh, 